let's talk with Rhonda from Chattanooga, Tennessee. She watches us on uh, television on FamilyNet. Hello, Rhonda. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? Good. What's going on? Um, I just want to call and um, thank God for y'all mostly uh, because my husband's on the road all the time and he listens to y'all all the time. Great. And he re- and I am so I started watching you on television, but um, he recently went to um, the conference uh, Every Man's Battle. And, well, how did it go and, for uh, him? It went great. Every for 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 about four or five months there, I just I just felt like something was going on with him, and I couldn't understand. I felt like he had changed, and something was going on. I couldn't figure out what. And we we've grown kind of distant because my dad passed away in December, and so I'm going through a lot of my own issues. Mm, sure. And he said, Rhonda, I need to go for myself. He said, I've got my own issues to deal with. But when I can get better myself, I can help you. Mm. And I only wish that I could go to something because he called me, like, you know, the next night. And I just felt, I mean, the way he just, I just felt the Holy Spirit was pouring out of him. I mean, I, he had such a tremendous change in his heart and in, mm. in his voice, and I could hear it. And ever since he's come home, it's been such a change in his life. And I just thank God for it because I thank God for you all because, if he hadn't been hearing you all and listening to you yeah. on the radio all these months, you know, he might have, you know, went the other direction or something. He's sure. been married a couple of times before, and his wife passed away, and my husband passed away in 2000. God brought us together, and then he blessed us with a well, I'm little just... five-year-old baby, but a little oh. girl. But I just thank God for you all, because I would love, because when he did that, I started bawling, because I want what he got. I all need right. what well, he got, okay. that now, cleansing and that. Do you that know? Do you know that, that we have that something for you? Do you know that we have something for you, designed just for you? Yeah, I think you said that. That and but, we have but, a. Um, it's an every heart restored group at the New Life Weekend. Yeah, that he wants us to go to that, and uh. Okay. Uh, the thing about this is, you know, times are hard and everything, and his mom is the one that you know kind of helped him you know, go so he could go. But I kept thinking, what's wrong with me? Why does he have to go to that? What's wrong with me? What have I done? Nothing. And he worried me, but yeah. I don't. I realize now it's not about me. It's about him, and it's about every man right. that goes. And, and we, we, we as women have our own issues that we deal yeah. with. Yeah. Well, not here's here's how we areas, say that. But, we but say we go through issues as well. You yeah. know. Here's how we say that. Admit. We say that he did it to you because you're in relationship with him, but he didn't right. do it at you. He didn't do it right. because you were a certain way. Now I I just uh, I think well hold on because here's what we're gonna do. We're going to uh, see if we can get a scholarship for you if mom can't help you. And uh, that's something, you know, if you, if you have financial difficulties, some people will provide a scholarship. And if you're listening, maybe you can provide a scholarship for this, this person. So, and, and here her husband has responded. It's so great to, to hear that somebody was mm-hmm. distant. There was something wrong. She sensed it. And now all she senses is the Holy Spirit pouring out of her. That's pretty cool. Right, and and Rhonda makes such a good point that when husbands go away and get help, it's so wonderful, and wives are so glad, but then they yeah. have their own issues that come up, right. and they really need to do something as well in being on the receiving end of that. And Rhonda's desperate, and she's scared. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so she lost her daddy, and her world's falling apart yeah. underneath her. She lost a husband. Yep. And... You know, she says, I, w- I want to be cleansing. I want cleansing and I want a mm-hmm. breakthrough. Those mm-hmm. were her words. And you know what? Healing isn't always just this big breakthrough. It's a True. gradual process. Right. Right. And and healing is a journey. It's just not this this very fast thing. Especially so, when you're grieving. Yes. Like so she I, th- is. I think it's important to realize how losing a husband and a dad rattles you and yep. to, to take the yeah. time to slow down. And to really grieve those losses, maybe getting a grief recovery group would yeah. be another yeah. way that, that would be very Rhonda, important for there? helping. Yes, we don't mean to be talking about you like you're not here, but what? I uh, know I hear you. I'm so, sorry. so I'm what do you think? Really emotional. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear what Milan was saying there? Yes, about uh, group therapy and grieving therapy. Yeah. Um, yes, and and another thing is that you know I just he he said seemed like it was like every seven years you know that his marriage would break up or fall apart or you know his wife died after seven years this last time and we we've been married for six years and so he said he didn't want our marriage how wonderful to end up on that seven year mark and he said he went, 
he said he wants to go because he's going to make sure and make this work. We have a five-year-old. It's not just yes. about us. It's well, about this five-year-old that God has blessed but, us with. But you're so also it, scared, isn't she, yeah. Ron? Mm-hmm. She's very scared. And, yeah, and, uh, yeah. We'll try to get Grateful you some help and, here. and And scared. And, you know, for him, I mean, going and sharing, there is such great relief in exposing the sin and the secret that he has kept. And so it really feels euphoric. And that's where, you know, the difference is for you. What, Mylon, you were talking about it being more gradual because she may not have something like that that she has buried. It's more of working through. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to send her the book. The book, Every Heart Restored. I hope that that will uh, be a blessing to her.